Alrighty guys, so I've already done my brows and eye makeup off camera now. It looks as if I did a lot of work to my eyes, but all I've got on is winged liner and lashes. <laughs> so for liner, I use the Maybelline Gel Liner in black, and then for lashes, Cocoa Lashes in Goddess. And I also wanted to point out these brushes that I use. I use this little fine brush from, it's actually an art brush from Spotlight. I got it and it came in a pack of three. So you get three different sizes and I just took the smallest one. And I would have to say my wing, it's looking right. Like it's looking pretty good. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do when you are covering acne is you want to kind of assess your skin first. So you have to kind of figure out if the areas that you're trying to cover are dry or if they're oily. If they're oily, perfect. Don't have to worry about this step. But if they are a little bit dry, what I like to do is I like to grab some MAC softening lotion, which looks like pee <laughs> in a bottle, but it's not. And I also kind of decanted it into a fix plus bottle because it's just easier to use. Spray a Q-tip with that. And I'm trying to cover this situation because I put alcohol over the pimple that I popped. <laughs> it went a little crusty. So I'm just going to use this and just start buffing away any of that dead skin. You don't have to get it all off but as long as you kind of just like cleanse the area in general you'll you'll be fine and then just kind of feel it and make sure that it's not as crusty not as crustacean nation you could even just grab a, a cotton pad spray some of that on and then literally just slap it on and just leave it like just leave it leave it for about 10 minutes 10 5 10 minutes do your eye makeup while you're doing this and then you have to worry about it Basically what this does in the name softening lotion, it softens the skin. It kind of preps the skin for whatever you're going to put on top of it. Hence why I'm doing this now. I probably should have done this before, but whatever. It hasn't been 10 minutes, but that's okay. It's feeling pretty soft. By the way, you want to have already moisturized your skin prior to this step. Okay, I'm going to pop on a primer. Silicone based primers work better for this, I find, just because the concealer that we use is gonna blend over the top a lot easier and a lot quicker. So I'm gonna use my Benefit Professional Primer as always. You guys can use whatever primer you love, basically. <laughs> and if you find that the area is very, very crusty, say that this is for like an event or something, you can even just use a face oil the night before and just really concentrate it on that area. And I'm also going to focus some of that just on top of that. So as you can see, it's kind of clung or clinged to my dry patches, but that's okay because we're going to cover all that up anyway. Okay, so the best way to cover, and this even goes for tattoos, but the best way to cover acne personally, this is what I like to do. I like to use the pancake method. So let me just explain. So basically now is the time that you want to take out the heaviest coverage foundation or concealer that you own. So for me, it is my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette. This is in medium. And this is basically MAC's Studio Finish Concealer, which looks like this in the little pot. It's basically just this in a palette form. So MAC full coverage, any one of these will do, or even like your Cryoline TV paint stick. So for today, I will be using MAC Studio Finish in NW25. So the first thing you want to do is grab a concealer brush, load up the concealer on the brush, load up as much as you can really. So I've got a good amount on there. Then you want to just pop that straight over. And because I have chosen a shade that has a little bit more of a peachy undertone, it's going to take away that kind of raw, ready, kind of purple tone. So it's going to take away that tone and replace it with a more warmer undertone. And because sanitization is key, I have decanted some onto the back of my hand. I just use like the back of the brush to scoop it out. Do you want to take a beauty blender? Okay, so I wet this probably 25 minutes ago and it has dried out a little bit, which is good. You can even just use a dry beauty blender for this part. And I'm just going to really press that into the skin. And like I said, this is pretty much dry. Then go in with a little bit more and press it in. Now for the third time, I'm going to grab some product, pop it straight over the top. Just going to kind of work on diffusing the edges a little bit more. I'm using a Morphe brush. I'm just going to diffuse the edges. So then what you want to do is you want to grab a translucent powder and like an eyeshadow brush or a powder brush or whatever you just want to use for powder. So I am grabbing a good amount and then you just want to press that over the top and set it. Now what you want to do is you want to grab a liquid foundation or a powder, oh no, 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 not a powder foundation, <laughs> a really good liquid foundation that you can use a beauty blender with, or you can even use like a, what is this? 
stick foundation. A stick foundation is going to work a lot easier to go over that area that we just put that down on, <laughs> kind of gliding right over it and you're adding coverage. Whereas with a liquid foundation, sometimes when you tap it onto your beauty blender and then tap it onto the skin, you're gonna lift the product a little bit. Try and go for a stick foundation if you can, make sure it's very, very full coverage. The Kryolan ones are like 90% pigment or something like that. I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now this is in the shade 220, which is kind of like an NC30 in MAC, if you guys are familiar. Now, because this is more yellow tone, it is going to counteract the warmth that we have just put on. So we color corrected the darkness, like the dark purple with the orange. And now we are going to color correct the orange to our actual skin tone using the foundation. It's a process, I know, but if you want your shit to look good, this is how you do it. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's like a million other ways of doing this as well, but this is just my favorite way. And I'm just going to grab that foundation. And the first place I'm gonna put it is right over this area. And as you can see, it is gone. Now you want to make sure your beauty blender isn't too wet because if it is, then it is going to take some of that coverage off. Like I said, So I will catch up with you guys once I'm onto doing powder because powder in the face does make a difference as well. And then once we are there, then we can talk. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> okay, so I've already gone ahead and set um, underneath my eyes and my forehead. So what you want to do is you want to grab a synthetic or just any kind of really dense foundation brush. Grab a pressed powder, swirl the bitch in and just keep on swirling. Once you have enough product, just tap a little bit off if you have to. I usually don't. Then what you want to do is you just want to press it very lightly over that entire area. The texture is still there a little bit, but we did cover the color. You can't cover texture, unfortunately, which really sucks, but you can cover color, which is awesome. <laughs> now, if you're finding that you can still see a little bit of the color through, or you're just really paranoid about people being able to see the fact that you have a little bit of a breakout, when you contour and you know add color back to your face, you wanna make sure that you don't add any pink or red toned products. You wanna use mainly cool tones, let me just show you. So for example, to contour, now I would have gone in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep, which as you can see, is a very warm orangey bronzer color. But instead, I'm going to go in to my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, because this is very neutral tone. And I'm just gonna mix these two here. And as you can see, it's a lot more gray and cool tone. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Morphe M510. And then if you find that you're getting a little light patch, just like how I am, just go back in with a, just like a little eyeshadow blending brush and just grab those two colors and just press that right on top. So now just for the sake of this video, I am gonna pop on some highlighter. Now, if you guys have texture on your face, don't put highlighter on the areas where you usually would. That is going to emphasize and highlight the pimple, highlight, acne, highlight, whatever you're trying to cover. So that's why I kind of keep it just along the cheekbone and I don't kind of bring it down onto my cheeks ever in my tutorials if you've ever seen me do it, just because I'm really paranoid that you're gonna see any texture and you know, cause no one's skin's perfect. So I'm gonna use Champagne Pop. Alrighty, so now we have kind of finished the overall <laughs> look on our face. Now we want to take a setting spray, your favorite setting spray, grab it. Mine is MAC Fix Plus. What this does is it just basically kind of soaks in all of the powder and meshes everything <laughs> together. So that way it doesn't look as cakey, especially because we have done the pancake method on this side. So I'm gonna grab some Fix Plus and just spritz your emotions and your sorrows and your worries all away and then get yourself a book and fan yourself off. And that guys concludes this video on how to cover acne, tattoos, scars, scarring, whatever. Everything looks cohesive, everything looks normal quote unquote <laughs> for a full list of products everything is down below as always if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i love you guys and i hope to see you all on my next video Mwah. bye guys